Hi and welcome to Lavery's M2B vlog. I'm just going to do give you a bit of a rundown on what's included in this Chris King Drop Set 5 headset. Now these things are, are pretty high end and um, you know really this should be the last headset you need to buy for your bike. Um, I've had to replace uh, bearings in my headsets before. These ones have a lifetime warranty. So I'm just going to give you a bit of a rundown on what's included in this. Uh, and also I ran into a bit of an issue. This has been installed on my bike before and I ran into a little bit of an issue with the, the grip lock component. So I actually want to show you that. And you know, I found some forums where it looked like people might have had the same issue and none of these forums really led to the solution. So, um, and I think you know, it's because there's a bit of user error involved. The instructions aren't very descriptive and I'll, I'll run through what's involved in putting it back together and how I went wrong. So uh, without further ado, let's run through it. Okay, so this how it all comes together. This bit of cardboard here within a bag. We unscrew the, uh, the star nut here at the bottom. There's our star nut and we've got our lower bearings our upper bearings our cap that's just to, to stop the cap from rubbing against the uh, grip lock assembly then we've got our grip lock assembly here now I'm going to move these other components out of the way and um, I've already had all this installed on the bike but um, I took it out to give it a bit of a clean and as I was doing that, uh, this all came apart. So out of the, the top cap there, you've got three components that come out of there. You've got your O-ring, your split ring, and your bearing ring. Now, I made a bit of a mistake initially when I was putting this back together and uh, I put it in this way. And it fits in there beautifully, like you would think. It was meant to be like that. The instructions say get the um, bearing ring and the split ring, install them into the grip lock cap, and then you put this O-ring into the space there in between. Now, the issue with this is when you put it in this way, one, it's wrong and it's not gonna work, but, but two, there's not enough room for the O-ring. So when you try and squeeze that over top of your steerer tube, it'll um, basically, it just doesn't have enough room to get over your stereo tube. And I, I, will, I suspect that um, people that have made that mistake have potentially ruined their O-ring. So you wanna be very careful that you wanna make sure this is installed in the right way. And the instructions aren't very descriptive. So if we pop that out, let's get this installed the right way. Now, it makes sense. Yeah, it's kind of self-explanatory, but it's easy to get wrong. But this here actually is what interfaces with the uh, upper bearing. So. Yeah, it absolutely makes sense that it should actually go this way. And then we pop that in, that's in. So it's good to go. And then what we do is we just get this O-ring, we install that in the gap up the top. It's that easy. And then we're good to go. So that is the um, grip lock actually installed in the right way. So I hope you can see that okay. 